A full wall missing. Uh, no one from my circle, anyone, colleagues, friends, nobody believed that a full-scale invasion would happen. So on the 24th, I was uh, woken up by my husband and I just had to wake up at 6 a.m. anyway by the news that he said uh, that a full-scale invasion has happened, that Volodymyr uh, Zelensky, our president, has um, informed uh, by an official video uh, that uh, Russia has started a full-scale invasion and so we turn out the gas we close the door and we started running towards the shelter which for us was the underground parking lot we met my mom really quickly she ran out as well because and then I looked at the sky and there was around five six fighter jets that flew by for us, we tried to like hold on mentally and emotionally as much as possible. We were thinking of just uh, what are we going to do after we're going to get out. That was sort of the thing that sort of held all of us, uh, you know, together. And it's also, you know, uh, the, the thing is um, we were not alone. I finally came here. I felt a lot of relief. and. Um, just I'm absolutely grateful to everyone in Canada, to the Canadian government and to everyone who has helped out Ukrainians and still helping and that's sort of what I would continue to ask from the Canadian people is to continue helping in whatever uh, way ev anybody can. It's not just like the donations, weapons and things like that is very important. Taking in Ukrainians into your home is also very important. But even on social media, if you have social media to spread as much information as possible, because what a lot of Canadians don't know is that the Ukrainian armed forces, actually uh, their morale is very, very high when they can see the whole world behind them, the whole world supporting them. So when they see messages from Canadians that are supporting them, um, saying that you have to be strong, you have to continue, that you'll be victorious, it'll help, of course, uh, helps them in, in this fight. Yeah.